Hello everyone. So this is a continuation of the introduction to Jets and a, a couple of tutorials here. So the first tutorial we cover was a CRUD application that we uh, generated with the Jets new command. We ran that locally. Uh, the second video I covered uh, how to deploy the application to AWS Lambda and then showing how that actually works remotely and showing how all those components connect together. In the third video, I show you some quick debugging with CloudWatch logs. In this video, I thought it'd be good to cover uh, Jet's jobs and what those are all about and how they work. So let's go take a look at the docs here. Uh, docs jobs right there. So uh, uh, a Jet's job handles background jobs. So what's a background job? Okay, so normally with web requests, you have the web request response cycle. And uh, what happens is the user requests for web page. We do some work and then we uh, spit back a, a, a response to the user and we have to do that uh, relatively quickly or else users will leave. They're not going to stay around and wait. <laughs> uh, but sometimes uh, if uh, that processing can happen off that re web request response cycle in a background job, then uh, it's a very beneficial kind of move that into a background job. So that's what this is all about. This is a background job. So we're going to go ahead and take this code and massage it a little bit and, uh, and get it uh, deployed. So we'll just take that code and create a hard job. So this is a hard job. Okay, so I'm going to change a couple things here. I'm going to change this to one minute so we don't have to wait uh, all day. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to also go puts dig. Okay, so then you can see in the log because this is just return response. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Let's just go ahead and deploy. Now, I did the uh, Martha Stewart type of thing where uh, I have... I'm showing you how to bake the cake and the recipe and all that, but the cake has already been uh, baked in the oven and it's already been done. So I, I've basically already deployed this to to use uh, uh, the Martha Stewart analogy. Okay, so this is why this deploying doesn't really matter because I've already actually deployed this out. So we're gonna actually take a look at the uh, let's look at the lambda functions first. Okay, so here is a hard job dig and here's hard job lift the two lambda functions that we created by deploying uh, earlier, like I said. All right, and then you can kind of see that, um, it, it, let's scroll down a little bit. Here's the code right here. Uh, and that's the code. Oh, you can see that, uh, that's like uh, nice to show you. There's the five minute timeout, right? Because uh, this of class timeout. So all these methods in here now have a function timeout of five minutes instead of like uh, the default of Jets is 20 seconds. Um, so um, because jobs are gonna run a little longer, right? Uh, and the maximum execution time in a Lambda function is five minutes. So uh, you, 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 you can't do it longer than that. If you do, then you kind of have, there are like ways to work around that. You have your Lambda function call itself, save state and all that, but be careful with that because if you have an infinite loop, then uh, you're gonna basically max out all your Lambda functions, like especially if you're kind of um, trying to stay underneath the free tier. So um, then you can also call other like another application that then could take longer to process and all that. But anyway, so five minutes is the maximum current Lambda execution time. Um, so that's kind of set there. Uh, I want to show you CloudWatch. Okay, so you see this thing right here, rate one minute, and then there's like crawl one minute too. So there's different ways to kind of um, schedule uh, this job to run repeatedly. You could do rate or you could do cron, and then uh, there's just different ways uh, with uh, um, something called CloudWatch event rules, which I'll show you right now uh, um, to uh, tell a, a Lambda function repeatedly and get called. So let's go look at the event rules right here. So you can see event rules and you can see a hard job right here. So hard job, dig, you can see it there. So here's dig and you can see fixed rate of one minute. Let's go back to the other one, hard event to this one, current expression right here and then it tells you exactly when it's gonna run next and all that. But the, the I did this one to one minute so then we actually see it run. And you can see the metrics too in CloudWatch. So that's kind of neat. You can see a graph of uh, how many times it's been uh, invoked. So, and uh, you can see it's been invoked by, you know, pretty uh, every single one there. And you can see failed invocations here too. And there should be no failed invocations. So maybe that's why it's taking a lot to load. Okay, so that's kind of good. All right, but uh, another good thing is to watch, uh, look at, check out the logs. Uh, let's check out the logs there. So, uh, oops, uh, I, I kind of reloaded there. Okay, so there's uh, the logs and a uh, hard job dig. So let's go ahead and search log group and scope this to five minutes. And uh, there we go. And so we should see like dig, dig, dig a couple times. See, dig here, dig there. I mean, I just, yeah, 
there. Now it's highlight one, two, three, four, about five times. Yeah. And there's you can see there's some pre-warm requests kind of upon deployment kind of happening there. But anyway, so it, you know it gets called every single minute or so. So uh, that's what jobs are about. Uh, let's go take a look at, again our code right here. And um, yeah, that's basically what jobs are about. Uh, it's a really great way to um, to uh, have your jobs run uh, on AWS serverless Lambda here because then you don't there's you notice here there's no no server to manage. That's kind of uh, pretty awesome. There's nothing to manage here. It's all kind of uh, built in by using uh, basically Kyle Wash event rules to schedule it, and then uh, then you could add your coding here. Uh, you could also you know always write code that it's like a, a another file here, and then you just invoke that code, and it, it gets all included and deployed together. So uh, that is it for jobs. Okay. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like uh, videos like this. Be sure to like it and share it with your friends to encourage more content just like this. And uh, subscribe if you want to watch future videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers.